So we go on clinical placements in two weeks time and so the point of the simulation was to give us an understanding and a, of what it's going to be like, you know, dealing with actors who are exactly like the patients we're going to be dealing with. I notice that doing simulation really helps the students, it makes a difference in how they communicate with the patient, for starters, how they're able to handle the different scenarios that may happen because it gives the students an opportunity to practice a real life scenario in a safe environment so it limits the risk obviously of um, any harm to the patient because the patient is an actor and it also gives students an opportunity to practice their skills and really become confident um, in that safe environment with the facilitator there, with their colleagues there to help them through and ask any questions that they're not sure of. I, I definitely feel more confident um, after doing the simulation. Uh, I'd say the thing that surprised me the most was the, the realism of the, of the actors and it was quite confronting. We had a COPD patient um, people with uh, respiratory issues and um, they were very realistic you know, they're struggling with their breath and it was um, so that was it was a great experience and it was very daunting but then when we, when we got into it and you sort of start doing what we've been practicing in class it all kind of flowed and made sense and we had um, some great educators working with us that we would break it down and debrief and um, look at what we need to improve on look at what we'd sort of done well which was which was great yeah, the patient we saw today had a total knee replacement and she could not move. She had a lot of pain and all she complained about was it hurts, it hurts, it hurts. So we had to tell her that it's normal, that it's going to hurt, but we have to take her through some of the exercises. We have to get her out of bed, teach her that it's okay, that it's normal to get out of bed and to get moving because we need to get her moving as soon as possible so she could go back home and play with her grandkids because we gathered that. Um, it's really easy to read it in a textbook or to just kind of say things to one another but when you're in a situation that mimics the real life scenario um, it allows them to really think through that language and how they're actually executing it. Because we have to understand that the patient is not only just what their injury is, we have to understand that they have a life at home and they have family and they have kids and they have to get back to that. Basically putting together all the things we've learned in class. You know, we have the theory, we do the practicals in class and this is sort of that combination of the two. We're actually getting to do it on um, as close to a real um, patient as possible. 